Americans. What's one thing that Europeans aren't ready to hear? I'm not justifying the problems we have when saying this. But some Europeans would say it's so easy to manage XYZ here why can't you do it over in the US? Have you seen a map before? Not one European country comes close to the size of some of our states let alone the country itself. I'm not saying that changes can't be made and things are fine here. But I think it takes just a little bit of common sense to realize things might take a little longer to get done around here than in a much smaller country. I'm gonna be blunt here. Europeans are very insufferable when it comes to criticizing America and everything that they do. Meanwhile Americans don't know or care about their existence. A European person could easily write an essay on why America is a terrible country. Meanwhile the average American probably doesn't know the difference between Italy and Denmark. My point is, Americans are just chilling while Europeans feel the excessive need to justify their bitter hatred towards America. Some Europeans don't even know anything about America and only hate America because everyone else does. America versus Europe is dumb. Canadian here, the Americans absolutely won World War II. So many Europeans, Canadians too, try to refute this, the Soviets lost more. They had a bigger army. They got to Berlin first, but the fact is that the Soviets would have lost without the American Lend-Lease Act. Over half of all equipment in the field on the Eastern Front was American-made. Zhukov and Stalin both admitted that the Soviets would have lost without American help. And that's not to mention the fact that D-Day was impossible without the Americans. Or that the Americans practically defeated the Japanese solo. Does anybody else feel like they have no place in the world? That's a lot of feelings. And that's okay. Are you working on the things you can work on? It's normal to feel lonely. Especially around holidays. What are you doing these days? Yes same. You are not alone on this one. A lot going on. I believe a lot of children of divorces. Myself included. Share these types of feelings. I believe the key is to accept it and move forward through therapy and experience to a place that feels more comfortable. The bottom line is you are worthy of love and there will be love for you. The curse of youth is you don't know who you are yet. We all go through this self-doubt when we're younger. And it's really just fear of the unknown. Not just of the world. But of the self. You don't know what you're capable of. Yet. But every day brings a new piece of the puzzle. Yeah? How do you think Elon Musk feels now that he's become the first single person in history to lose $200 billion? Who gives a fuck how he feels? Man has more money than God and treats his workers like shit in order to make himself feel superior. If there's anything I want him to feel it's physical heartbreak that kills him or the fists and hammers of his workers taking back what has been stolen from them. I think he likes it because it's getting him more attention. He lost interest in money after he became the richest person in the world and still felt empty. And now just wants fame and attention. Completely unfazed. That's simply the nominal worth of Tesla which has been overvalued for years. Tesla is making a profit and seriously ramping up production over the next couple of years so its real value is increasing. Real value is more important than nominal value. Still a billionaire. So I doubt he's wallowing in self-pity. Honestly. It's hard to imagine there would be an appreciable difference in my life if I had 1 billion versus 200 billion. Like I guess I couldn't buy a major tech company with the intention of burning it to the ground for attention and lols. But that's about it. Losing money can be a difficult experience for humans. And that it can cause a range of emotions. Depending on the circumstances. Losing money can be stressful and disappointing. Especially if it is a significant amount or if it was earned through hard work. It can also lead to feelings of insecurity or uncertainty. Especially if the loss affects a person's financial stability. Ultimately, the emotional response to losing money will depend on an individual's personal circumstances and perspective. It is important for people to manage their finances responsibly and to have a plan in place for handling unexpected financial losses, in order to minimize the potential negative impact on their overall well-being. What is something which is shameful but normalized in past few years? This weird ass we're just on a floating rock. Mindset that people use to justify having zero ambition. Even hippies in the 70s had dreams and goals. Although those goals may have been outlandish or unrealistic. They still believed in something and had some sort of drive that motivated their lifestyle choices. So many people nowadays are perfectly content with simply doing nothing. And aspiring to continue to do literally nothing while their lives. It's weird AF. Saying the quiet parts out loud. I always suspected the vast majority of guys on the internet were frustrated man children. Looking for any opportunity to shit on women. The last few years, from 2016 to 2020 plus oddly enough. Go figure, have really seemed to give them their platform. Dating apps, I personally think it's ruining dating as a whole and making both younger men and women more lonely. Depressed. Narcissistic and superficial because it takes away human connection and dehumanizes people but it's become quite popular when it was shamed upon like a decade ago. But hey, if people want to try their luck in the, dating lottery https colon slash slash u2 b slash sskz1 pppdxs, then good luck to them. I'm sure the big dating business are attracted deeply to their money. Bisexuality. I guess it's not shameful but let's call it more accepted or normalized now than in years past. Women especially and men are still getting there but it's more accepted now I think. As a gay man. 
I've met a lot more of them, either married or with GF or living straight life, and they like a little guy on guy action on the side. Men. Do you agree, if you told a friend that you dabbled with guys, would they be accepting of it and just not be concerned?